Yes, my pet. Now that you are whole and fully realized, take your first steps and begin to understand your natural habitat. <laughs> Soon, capital city will be witness to a terror beyond anything I ever depicted in my movies. You jump in Juniper the Jumba! I make the monsters big. I can figure out where a monster's going before it gets there? It's some sort of global tracking system that I can put in your hard drive. And you're going to need it, especially once he figures out how to make them in multiples. Multiples? You mean Klaus von Steinhauer figures out how to make batches of creatures? But that may only be in my timeline. Remember, Luke, you and the Warriors have changed timelines before. Henry? Henry, what's going on? Are you all right? Henry, where are you? I'm worried about you, Henry. What's going on? What is this? What was that? This whole place gonna come crashing in? Luke, where are you? Drop by any time. You'll never believe what I just found out about Tabby. Hang on. It's not even raining that hard. Voted school president. So, she's been school president three years running. Voted co-president with her. Graham Trickhammer. Graham Trickhammer? The jock. That's putting it mildly. From what I understand, he's on the short list to join the Junior Olympics luge team. He's a bit of a jerk, isn't he? Well, I don't know about that, but one thing's for sure, we'll be seeing a whole lot less of Tabby now that she'll be hanging out with Graham all the time. Come on, they're not gonna be hanging out all the time. I mean, school president doesn't mean 24-7. They could probably do most of it by email. Actually, speaking of which... Dink Dorman here, folks, with a breaking story I'm calling the Barnyard Bafflement, because that's what's been happening. Horses, cows, chickens, all manner of livestock on farms around Capital City are reported disappearing at alarming rates. This home video made earlier today out at the Van Slander Farm has just been sent in to CCTN. <coughs> that thing's eating my cows! <sighs> Folks, this reporter is officially freaked out! You're not gonna believe this, but I saw that creature on my computer. On your computer? Yeah, but how? I'll explain on the way. You guys won't believe what I just heard about Tabby and Graham. Yeah, Trickham. yeah, and the HQ's leaking. What's with him? I accidentally smashed him in the head. Oh, and there may be a horse and cow-eating creature out by the Van Slander farm. Cool. What are we waiting for? Be careful, Orius, or you might just run into my latest creation, and then you'll end up as a late-night snack. Okay, so the plan is we take this road back to the T-junction and turn left where you turned right. Then we take the circular road that you said we shouldn't take. Okay, Antonio, I admit it. I got us lost. Just gotta find this Van Slander farm. In that case, the best thing would be for the car not to stall. I'll check it out. He doesn't know anything about fixing cars, you know. Ugh. All right, hoods up. What next? 
Well, automotive repair isn't very difficult if... If you're Tabby, who you will notice is not here right now. All right, what's this? Part of a girl's shoe? Rubber band? Chicken wire. This is what's holding my car together? She's a very resourceful young lady. On the bright side, it's not ringing anyway. You know, I can't help but get the feeling that we've done this before. You know, the deserted road, the broken down car. There's something coming through those trees. Correction, there's something coming over those trees. Which means it's big. Which means it's... Antonio, what is it? It's about to eat us, that's what it is. We have no gear, no weapons, and no monster car. If you readjust the girl's shoe, the rubber band, and the chicken wire, we might have a chance. We get to create a diversion. A diversion? Great. How? Oh. Hey, Mr. Buck! Over here! How did she do this? Apparently, the answer is fast. I got it! Actually, got it! And none too soon! Directions now, Antonio. Just drive. Giant praying mantis. Now it's important to note that among insects, mantises are voracious hunters and stalkers. Stalkers? I thought they ate grasshoppers. But when you're a 25-foot praying mantis, you eat cows and horses whole. Mm, she sure cuts to the quick. I mean, a giant creature like that? That could go through the city's livestock supply in... 2.3 weeks. We worked it out. Luke! Luke! What are we gonna do? Uh, well, sir, I think that, um, <clears throat> the best form of action would be to... find it, kill it. <laughs> Unfortunately, while that might be the best course of action... Sorry I'm late. I was, uh, school business. I was elected president of the school. Actually, co-president. The co-president and I had some after-school work to do. Well, believe me, Tabby, I understand the rigors of elective office, huh? <laughs> and I was just telling Luke here that while it seems to be business as usual, other issues have come into play. Have you seen this? Uh, excuse me, sir, but does that say save the monsters? You'll see, you'll see. It's a new citizen group very upset at the monster destruction that's happening at Capital City, and they just want us to sort of, um, take our time. Don't get me wrong. I want you to catch this giant praying mantis. But... I don't want you to make such a big fuss about it. A giant praying mantis? Did I hear that right? Well, if you'd been around earlier, you'd know all about it. I told you, I had school business. Graham trick hammer, yeah, sure. Sure, Graham trick hammer. Wait a second. You aren't jealous, are you? Are you? Of course not. Look, you and I are fellow warriors, okay? Not um, boyfriend and girlfriend. Well, sure, but... So, nothing to be upset about. You want upset? Check out the Save the Monsters group. Looks like they're a little more organized than you might have thought. Well, it's the first we've heard of them. How organized can they be? Save the monsters! Save the monsters! Save the monsters! You know, save the I'm just not having a good time with it right now. Can't be. Can't. What's wrong? My life is over. It's over. Luke, what is it? My parents. We've come home. Your parents? I thought your parents traveled all the time. Well, they do. In fact, they spent all of one day here since we moved in. Now it's the first day. Come on, let's get into the HQ. understand is that my parents are kind of big into causes, so they're always... Lucius! Yeah. Hi, darling. It's my mom. Oh. There you are. Good to hey, see you, buddy. Oh, jeez. Oh. 
That's great. <laughs> hey, you look great. You look yeah. great. Oh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying. Wait, yeah. And this place. Whoa. Oh, what you've done. Oh, such it's a strong just... statement, you know, oh, so strong. You're finding your own space. Found it. <laughs> Mom, Dad, friends of oh, mine hi. hang out sometimes, buddies. Antonio, oh, hi. pleased to meet you, Mrs. Oh, you just yeah. call me free. It's free. <laughs> and this is it's Ed. My mom. It's Dad, oh. Ed. So, so Lucius, you're hanging with your friends. Yeah. That's cool. Listen, we still got some unpacking to do at the main house and mm -hmm. all this work to do on the monster thing, so um, maybe we'll catch up with you later. But we just want to let you know, you're beautiful. beautiful. You know that, right, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, did you say monster thing? Yeah. Well, that's why we came back to Capital City. Take a look. Or helping organize a concert in front of City Hall. Monster Aid, save the monsters. We want to stop all these crazy people from attacking the monsters. Like teenagers. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? Anyway, we'll uh, catch up with all that stuff later. Nice to meet y'all. <laughs> oh, and hey, it's all beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Lucius? Yeah. Oh, what can I say? Is there anything to say? You didn't tell your parents that you're a monster warrior? Uh, you, you, you know, I, I just kind of went ahead and uh, neglected to, to tell them that. But you're gonna have to tell them sometime, right? Mm-hmm. My guess is they're gonna find out sooner rather than later. Check it out. Reports, folks, coming in every minute. Our precious farms and livestock being eaten up all through the northern region uh, of Capital City. If we don't stop whatever's out there, this city just might be eaten. Out of house and home. It's all going according to plan. Capital City is in danger of literally being eaten out of house and home. And if those pesky warriors want to do any more bug hunting, they're going to begin for quite a surprise. <laughs> it's right around here, wasn't it? Maybe closer to the ridge over there? I gotta say, I'm not sure what we're here to accomplish. I mean, if the news reports are accurate, then the praying mantis has moved all over the countryside. Well, we know for sure that it was here, so there should be some clues as... You got somewhere you gotta be? No. Well, yeah. I'm supposed to be having a meeting with Graham in an hour. Look, you know Graham Trickhammer's a total jerk, right? No, he's not. He's just misunderstood. Misunderstood? Hey. I wouldn't be going on a Northwoods bound trip with him and his family if I didn't think he was a good guy. Northwoods bound camping trip? When's this? In a couple of weeks. Luke, I found something. What is it? I can't say for certain, but it looks like fluid residue that might. Yeah, yeah, allow us to trace the mantis's path, right? Good. You should tell her. Tell who what? Tabby. Luke. I have a lot of experience with women, and I've usually found that it's best just to tell them how you feel. Tell her that this whole Graham Trickhammer thing bothers you. It doesn't bother me. And besides, even if I did feel something, and, and even if it did bother me, I'd have to wait to the exact right time and right place to do something about it. It'd have to be, what? Oh, perfect. Perfect. What's up? Oh, that is not good. No, no. Perfect. It goes along perfectly with everything that's been happening in my life lately. Because what are we going to do? Well, I have to admit, this situation does present us with an unusual problem. The fact is that with all the mantis in one location, they're sitting ducks. With that in mind, I've been examining their physical makeup. The fact that they have six legs could prove advantageous if we could come up glue with... Glue throwers. I figure if we could glue the mantis together, then they'd be powerless. All we have to do is attach them to our monster vacuum packs, insert a glue cartridge here, and... I am so sorry. I had no idea they would trigger so fast. Hey, gay. Hi. Hey, it's good to see you all hanging out together, chilling out. Very cool. We just wanted to let you know that we've got passes to this afternoon's Monster 8 concert. We thought you might all like to come. We just thought, you know, People need to see a normal teenager who cares about their fellow creatures, yeah, um, especially since it's apparently four teenagers your age that are doing most of the monster chasing. 
We'll, uh, we'll, th we'll, th we'll, th we'll think, we'll think about it. <clears throat> it's gonna be out of sight and out of mind. <laughs> Rock on. <laughs> Could you? Yeah. Okay, Mom. We have to get to the Mantis before anyone tries to stop us. No kidding. It's monster time. <laughs> Monster Alley. I couldn't have planned it better myself. Except I did. <laughs> oh, All right. Have glue throwers at the ready. On my count. One, two, three. <laughs> Uh-oh. But how is this possible? Where did they all go? Why would they just... Food. Creatures always go for food. The City Hall gathering. And it's just so beautiful to see so many of you nature lovers here today at City Hall to save the monsters! <laughs> Show you how we do things here in Capital City. Oh, man, that was not beautiful at all. Mom, Dad, take up. Bob, it's you and Graham Trickhammer. It is nothing to do this. Take cover! Shoot up their antennae if their prime sense of space and movement. Retrofit backwards! <laughs> Picture to think of everything. And that's what I call teamwork. Sure you guys don't want to stay a little longer? Can't, Lucius. We gotta get up to the North Woods to stop that logging company from polluting the rivers. You know, it's a natural habitat for the tri-backed spotted toothbender. Oh, sounds like a good cause. Well, a lot of them are, Luke. We're not total wingnuts, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Thanks, son. Good to see you, Dad. Bye, Mom. Bye, sweetie. You know, I can't say I totally understand the whole monster warrior stuff, but as long as you're helping people, it's all in the good cause. Thanks, Dad. You take care now. You too, both of you.
I, I thought that you were uh, Northwoods bounding with Fram Trickhammer and his family. I can't. I've got weapons to perfect. <clears throat> uh, Tab, I've, uh, um, I, I was thinking about what you said, and, uh, um, it's none of my business. And, um, I shouldn't have judged somebody that I don't know. And I'm sure he's really nice. <clears throat> okay. Luke, I couldn't go anyways. Graham's in traction. Really? Yeah, he hurt himself doing extreme luge. Well, that's great, that's fantastic. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, I'll see, um, see ya.